So, so I was curious to dig a little deeper into like how you look at this phenomenon of Bitcoin from your unique um, worldview perspective. And I wanted to read you a quote from that Bitcoin is Venice article, because I think it might link to something else you've said about Bitcoin. So the quote goes, quote, Bitcoin may be magic internet money, but more importantly, it is money for the internet. Prior to 2009, you could send any information you wanted to anybody, anywhere in the world, instantly, except the most important information of all, value. Now we're all caught up. And then later, I heard you comment that maybe Bitcoin could be defined as an incorruptible language of value. So I'm curious, like, could you share a bit more, like, from your point of view, what does that mean? <clears throat> well, I, I don't think that's a particularly revolutionary observation on mm. my part. That's the sort of thing that the bit, especially the, the real Bitcoin enthusiasts, the ones who are delving into the phenomenon from a philosophical or even a theological perspective, weirdly enough, are insisting. Well, it's incorruptible because there is no central agent of control. I mean, you, I'm just bringing coals to Newcastle here. I mean, one of the things that all of you object to is the ability of central bankers to inflate the currency. And I do think you can make a pretty credible argument that that's a, you can interpret that as a form of theft. And, and uh, uh, I'm not saying, I, I'm not saying it is, because that's complicated, right? I mean, in, in a free society like your society, and until recently mine, um, yeah, I wish that was funny. Um, you know, the people, the people who, are, who, are, who are managing the monetary supply are elected, and, and that means that we do have control over the process or at least as much control as any of us have over any political processes. And we're going we're gonna to take that away. Um, now, the, the argument is that, well, we should take that away because money's a ledger. You know, it's an exchange of labor. It's an exchange of productivity. It's an exchange of value. That's a better way of thinking about it. It's a way of tracking the exchange of value between individuals. And it isn't obvious that once you and I enter into a contract of value that a third party should be able to uh, alter the means by which we track that mm -hmm. exchange for their purposes, whatever those purposes are. And again, I think that's a rational argument, but that doesn't mean it's right. Um, these are very, very complicated issues. I mean, most of us assume that taxation is acceptable, um, or at least we don't, you know, strike up the revolution because it occurs. We seem to think that there is a role for government and for the determinations that government make outside the free market per se. Obviously, the government has to exercise some control over currency, over money, in order to make its functions possible. When we take, if we take the control of currency away from the government, we don't know what that'll do, for example, to taxation. You know, if we could all of a sudden do all of our transactions in secrecy, like in real secrecy. Well, you, you could argue the world was on a gold standard and, and that limited the control of governments over money and still taxation existed for Fair enough. many hundreds Fair, of years. Fair enough, you know. Mm. Um, I, I guess what I would what I would point to from the devil's advocate perspective is that well we shifted away from the gold standard in the 70s and you know all hell hasn't broken loose now I do accept the proposition that currencies have inflated and perhaps in a counterproductive manner but the last 60 years have been pretty damn productive economically and so that system did work now you could say well it could have worked better it's like yeah maybe but it certainly hmm. could have worked a hell of a lot worse and so well that's just this isn't a criticism of bitcoin it's just i mean i've watched over the years as social scientists have tried to mount large-scale social experiments with the best of intentions and mm -hmm. you know generally almost invariably that doesn't work 